Hi, I'm George from Blackbird Realty. Today's topic is going to be the security deposit. The one thing that can get a real estate broker or a owner uh, who manages his own rental properties in trouble is the mishandling of the security deposit. The most important thing to know about the security deposit is, is that it's not your money and you shouldn't spend it like it is. There are a lot of misconceptions with the security deposit and what the owner can and can't do. Security deposit cannot exceed three times the periodic rent and owners and brokers alike sometimes want to penalize the tenant and they think that the security deposit is the vehicle to do that with. It's not. The security deposit has to be accounted for completely. If you're going to take a deduction against a security deposit, you're going to need a receipt and a reason that you're taking that. The things that you can take from the security deposit are unpaid rent, the fact that he did not return the keys to the property and you had to get it rekeyed, cleaning of the, the property, touching up the paint, replacing broken blinds if the tenant broke them. Deductions that are not allowed to the security deposit are realtor fees, unless the tenant broke the lease and you had to hire a realtor to get another tenant for the property. But if the tenant moves out at the end of his lease term and fulfilled all of the lease terms, the fact that you've got to advertise the property or hire a realtor is of no concern of the tenant and you cannot take offset from his security deposit. You can't charge them for breaking the lease unless it's designed in the lease. The final word on the security deposits is, is that you need to return it to the tenant in a timely manner. 30 days you return a deposit or you completely account for it. You're going to end up losing that battle in court if the tenant decides to take you into court and he might win treble damages, which will be three times the security deposit amount. Know that you cannot contract around the law and the lease by giving yourself 60 or 90 or 120 days to return a deposit. You're just not going to be able to penalize the tenant because he moved out of your rental. If you have questions about the security deposit, Give us a call. I'm George at Blackbird Realty and I'm in Las Vegas. Thanks.